Ladies and gentlemen, I have a friend called Alex, not Alex of Thailand, <laughs> and another Alex, who is an engineer like me. Boring. But we're trying to improve our life. He's trying to make his life more interesting by keeping dogs. How many of you have dogs at home? Show me your hands. Well, a lot of you. Thank you. Alex has three gold binders, and they all bite. Kilobytes, megabytes, and gigabytes. <laughs> it turns his life from boring to bloody. One day, Alex switched on to the National Geographic Channel. I know all by thinking. National Geographic Channel. Favorites for the educated and boring. But that night, on that night, Alex found an interesting program. It's the world famous dog trainer, Cesar Mula, the dog whisperer. He has some killer moves to tempt the dogs. When his dog is trying to get excited, trying to approach the other dog to bite them, he'll correct them instantly. First, you whisper, Shh. then you pull the lash. Lastly, you kick his butt. And he do it all at the same time with good energy. Shh. Well, Alex find it very useful. So does his girlfriend, Mel, who's secretly watching the same program. When Alex make any unnecessary eye contact with the female audience on the streets, <laughs> looking at them as if he's prepared to make an unprepared, impromptu speech, Mary will start giving him feedback before even he start to speak. And she does it by whisper, <laughs> pulling the nest, <laughs> not here, here. <laughs> and keep him his butt. <laughs> and he does it all at the same time with energy. <laughs> and poor Alex that night, no matter how hard he tried to engage his one and only one female audience at home by rolling his eyes, hanging out his tongue and wicking his tail, Mary will not give him any feedback at all. No eye contact, because that's the last rule, last trick of Cesar Mula. No eye contact when your other half is not behaving. Back to you. <laughs>